So we have our server set up here. We have our applications on app one and app two, and we have our environment set up, but these servers cannot communicate with each other yet. So we're gonna do that first. I'm gonna start with the load balancer. Now the load balancer just needs a quick setup so that it knows what servers to bounce traffic between. So I don't have any sites yet here. What I need to do is create a site and that's gonna be forge.scalinglaravel.com. Once again, just like the others, it's a general PHP Laravel site and we need to add it. And that is all we need to fill out to create a site on a load balancer on forge. And now since that's set up already, we can just click on it. And from here we can add other sites. Now the load balancer knows what other servers we have in the same data center. And that's why it's saying we can add any of these servers. We don't have my service for hackers server because that's in a different cloud that's in AWS and obviously will not therefore be in the same data center. So it doesn't include that in the list. And note that the IP addresses it's going to connect to are all the private network IP addresses. So it's smart enough to use the private network instead of the public network, which will be much quicker. So I just want to add app one and app two because the load balancer is just going to balance web traffic between any application servers we create. So if you make a new application server or delete an old one, you can update that here. All right, so that is updated. And the next thing I wanna do is just set up SSL and I'm just gonna have Let's Encrypt do that for me. So forge scalinglaravel.com and I don't need the www version of that. And if I go to terminal and I wanna clear this out, I'm gonna do dig forge.scalinglaravel.com. I'm just checking the DNS and the DNS entry is 165.227.195.140. And that is indeed our IP addresses for our load balancer. So that matches up, the DNS is all set, and that's what Let's Encrypt is gonna need. So Let's Encrypt is just gonna create an SSL certificate for our domain here, and that should work fine. We're gonna see this pop up in just a second. All right, that is set up and installed, and then we can just activate it. All right, great, so that is now active. So let's head on over here and do to forge.scalinglaravel.com, and we will get an SSL certificate that's working. But we have that same error that we saw before, and we're gonna fix that in a little bit. Okay, so we need to set up some networking stuff next. So in our setup, our application servers need to talk to the cache and the database server. And right now, the cache and database server are not accepting any external traffic to these ports. They're probably only accepting traffic on the web ports, which these servers actually won't end up using. So let's just head to each server cache and head to networking. And now the way this works in Forge is it's can connect to. So instead of starting on the cache server or the Redis server, we actually are gonna go to each application server and go to network and we're gonna say the app server one that we're on right now can connect to the cache server and the database server. It doesn't need to connect to the load balancer. The load balancer is actually connecting to each app server and that's already set up for us. So we'll update the network there. And this is just easier and more convenient than setting up custom firewall rules here, which we could do also. But since this knows there are other servers in the same data center, we can just click these and have it update network to make it so our application servers can connect to these two. We'll just repeat that for app two. That's set up. Okay, so let's just see what that did. I'm going to SSH into our server that we just logged into here, into our database server, right? I think I chose the database IP addresses, yep. Now we're gonna do ufw-v, I think. So ufw-v wasn't a command, so I want status. I think there's a verbose item also. So let's just do ufw status, I need sudo, and I'll just enter the pseudo password for that user, and we have a bunch of rules here. So we have a lot of ports open here for certain databases and memcache and all that stuff. It's allowing external traffic from our application servers on both their public IP addresses and their private IP addresses. And this is going to allow traffic to the server, into the server on these ports, and we only care about 3306 because it's my SQL, but it's gonna allow traffic from only the specific servers with these IP addresses, and these happen to be our two application servers. So this is pretty secure. It's locked down to only allow traffic from our application servers and nowhere else. Great, so I just wanted to show you that. Our networking is just about set up, so what we're gonna do is just play with this code and see why we get the class config does not exist in the next video, so we'll get our application up and running.